Now we're ready to put the D-bag in the container and close it up. You want to make sure you have a, a pull-up cord or a packing tool for the next part. So the best way to do this is to grab the D-bag. I'm going to drag the container just in frame here. But we want to pick up the D-bag and up and over the top. So we want to start with the risers. Have them coming up over the shoulders. You notice this tuck tab. Just want to tuck that in. And the riser should be nice and close to the reserve tray here. So this riser cover material is covering the risers. Nothing is exposed in free fall. On the other side, same thing. Risers up and over the shoulders. Nice and tight against the reserve tray and the tuck tab over. Nothing's exposed. So now we want to open up the tray. Set the D-bag up here for now. And you want to get your pull-up cord. And we're going to put it through the main closing loop. So we want to make sure that the access lines come down the sides here and they're nice and neat. And we're going to put the D-bag in nice and gentle. Open up the tray and really pay attention to your stoves. The closing sequence for my container is bottom, top, left, right. If you're not sure, ask a rigger or check the manufacturer's manual online. So wrote it through the, the pull-up pull cord through the bottom grommet here. And to close a container, it's all about leverage. It's not about muscle. So I'm going to be pulling in this direction. And that's what I want. I want the closing loop showing through the grommet. Set a knee there. The top flap. <clears throat> Again, leverage. The closing loop is showing. Left side. And the right side. You want to find the main closing pin. Make sure that there's still color showing in the window there, indicating that your pilot chute is still primed, cocked, ready to go. It's not a bad idea to do the snap test as well with your pilot chute. Yep, still cocked, still primed, good to go. So take the main closing pin, the curved pin and route it through the main closing loop here. We'll take the extra bridle at the top here. Now before you remove your pull-up cord, get it underneath the pin first, and then as I go to pull it out, it's rubbing on the metal, therefore reducing the friction on the closing loop, adds more life to the closing loop, so now we want to do the pilot chute. So this is a standard way of folding the pilot chute. 
There's several ways that people do this, but this one seems to work nicely for me. Open up the pallet chute, face down, and grab the bridle and bring it down to the bottom of the pallet chute. And then we want to half moon it, and then fold one third, fold again one third, bring bottom to top. So we have this nice little rectangle. So right next to the rig, S fold the bridle. We want to stack the bridle on top of the pilot chute. Nice big fold. Nice big fold. And we want to have the bridle coming out where the hacky is, with the pull-out handle. I'm going to set the rig up on its side, and we're going to use up the whole BOC, the bottom of the container pouch. So spank it a few times. This will make for an easier pull during activation. And we want to tuck the rest of the, the bridle away. Underneath this bridle coverage. Close that final flap. We're ready to do our gear check and then go jump.